Hi everyone, this is Ron Kreider reporting for duty again today. Today we're going to tell you how to make a log for the relevant radio clock. The relevant radio clock is a little bit different than the EWTN clock. So many of the radio stations that I work with do a lot of EWTN programming and that means that all the programming is in real time or hard breaks, starts at the top of the hour and then they have different clocks to where the actual breaks are going to be and then those breaks happen in what we call real time and they're hard breaks. It's different on relevant radio. Relevant Radio uses what we call flexible breaks. That means they fire the breaks in a particular window that they've pre-established and set up for us, but it isn't exactly at the exact time like they are in EWTN. Now, the reason for that is they want to finish their thoughts, their talk programs. Take, for example, Patrick Madrid. He'd like to finish this caller and so forth and not have to crash out to say, oh, we're up against the clock. We have to go now. You've heard them say that. So they don't necessarily have to do that. Just to different way of doing things and it's not wrong it's just a little bit more complicated in order to do relevant radio you really should have an xds receiver you can buy them on ebay every day for about eight or nine hundred dollars i've purchased three of them recently and they were in really good shape they were used but uh, normally they sell for like twenty three hundred dollars but in this particular case they look like they were brand new they were in the original box and so forth uh, if you'd like to know more about where to get them give me a call i do have a couple of extra ones down here so you do need an XDS receiver. It's a satellite receiver. It will work either on the satellite or it will work over the internet. A lot of stations can't use a satellite because they don't have a satellite facility available. So you can plug it into the internet and it will work fine there. You will have to get in touch with Relevant Radio and get permission to use Relevant Radio in your market. And then they will set up your satellite receiver for you. Excuse me. They'll set up. Then they will set up your yeah. XDS receiver for you so that it works on the internet and it will work quite well. Another side uh, uh, product of that is that you, when they set it up for you, you could also pick up Salem Radio News if you happen to be running some music programs that like to include a little bit of news or sports or business information. You can get that from the Salem Christian Radio Network. You have to call and get permission to do it, but it's already there, and it comes in on the same receiver. It's quite easy to use. I'll tell you about that on another video as well. I just thought I would throw those things out. All right, let's begin. So, since you may be switching from EWTN programming, which ends at the top of the hour, begins a new program at the top of the hour, as I mentioned, Relevant Radio doesn't do that, and they're also 30 seconds behind when it comes to the satellite receiver. Therefore, if you were to join Relevant Radio at the top of the hour, you would be joining a program that's already in progress, and we don't want to do that. So let's say, for example, I'll give you an idea of what we do. Some of our radio stations take a program uh, at beginning at the 8 o'clock or at 7 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, and they're coming, we're coming out of a EWTN program that ended at uh, exactly 7 o'clock. If we were to join the program at 7 o'clock, in relevant radio, you'll be joining the program already in progress. So there are going to be three different clocks that we're going to have to use for these programs. So in this particular clock, we're going to join morning air, but we're not going to join it at, right at the top of the hour. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, play a 30-second ID at the top of the hour or some 30-second component here at the top of the hour. Now, in our particular case, we give a 30-second ID in there, but you could actually put a 30-second spot in there if you chose to do so. So here's, that, here's what happens. Clock looks like this. It's, it starts immediately switching to SW1. Your switcher number one in your switcher, it switches, does this automatically in your Simeon program. This is Simeon automation, and it plays a 30-second ID, which is called RRID number one. As soon as that ID finishes, it will be 30 seconds past the hour, and it switches to SW7 because it has an at sign there. It does that automatically, and that puts Relevant Radio on the air. Relevant Radio is now going to be on the air for about two minutes because they're going to give a newscast in that space. And it's also going to send immediately following that a metadata information out for your streaming people who will be able to see that it's relevant radio. And when we get to the program, it will also put in the telephone number, the call-in phone number. 
Next thing that's going to happen at 40 seconds past the hour, it's going to see an at sign and it's going to turn the triggers on. The triggers are the devices that get accepts a relay closure from the receiver from the XDS receiver into your computer and fires the brake. Then we're going to sit around and start waiting for a time sync. So what happens here is you see there's nothing here. So it's going to be waiting to get a, a, a break. As soon as they send a relay closure through, whenever they do that, it'll be somewhere around two minutes and 30 seconds past the hour. It will start this break. It says here it's going to be waiting for a two-minute break. It starts the break. It puts SW1 on the air, which puts your Simeon on the air, and it plays these spots in here. Now, you can put any spots in there you want. For uh, illustration purposes, I just put in a gold cart 60A, a gold cart 30A, a gold cart 30B, and that took care of the two-minute break at the top of the hour here that starts at two minutes, 30 seconds past the hour. As soon as those spots finish playing, it automatically switches because it says here SW7L. As soon as this spot, this 30B finishes, then SW7 switches uh, relevant radio back on the air. As soon as relevant radio is back on the air, it sends some metadata out to your streaming listeners telling you, telling them what program is on the air and it'll also give the call in phone number. Then the computer will take a look and look for this, what we call coincidence, this pound sign. The pound sign at 20 minutes, 30 seconds past the hour, it's going to time sync and move ahead and sitting there waiting for the break. And it, it, about 20 minutes, 30 seconds past the hour, anytime thereafter, when they send a relay closure through, it will start this break somewhere around 20 minutes, 30 seconds past the hour. And it will play, this happens to be a two minute break as well. And it'll play those spots and immediately, as soon as those spots are over, go back to SW7, which is relevant radio. And there it will uh, begin uh, the, the program for relevant radio. And then it will send out the metadata immediately following that. Same process is repeated around 40.55. It time sinks and sits there and waits for the break to take place. As soon as they send the relay closure through about 41 or 41.10, it switches this spot on and it plays the 60 second spot and it will automatically switch back to relevant radio, send the metadata out as we did before. And then that's the end of the hour until we get to 59. And exactly 59, it's going to turn the triggers off. This is the program. This is the way you would do this and set it up for any of your uh, relevant radio programs for the first hour. If you're coming off of an hour, that's say an EWTN hour. Now, if you are running relevant radio all the time, then when I show you the next clock, that's the clock you will use all the time and not this one. But if you're switching back and forth between relevant and EWTN, if you come out of EWTN, then you're going to want to use the first hour of the relevant radio clock, which is this one right here. The next video will be coming up in just a moment. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach me at runcriter at gmail.com. Or give me a call, 772-913-2209. If you like the video, give me a like. Subscribe to it if you'd like. And as I put more videos up, you'll be able to see them. There'll be three videos in this series. This is video number one, which is the first hour of Relevant Radio. Then there'll be the normal hour of Relevant Radio. And then there will be the last hour of Relevant Radio. So some of our stations start at 7 o'clock in the morning with relevant radio and take it all the way up until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So all of the hours in between will be normal relevant radio hours except the last hour, and that will be the last hour of relevant radio, which sticks an ID in. Down here where we have the trigger and everything, it sticks a legal ID in there and uh, at the very end of that particular hour. Okay, so here we go. Don't forget to give me a like, please.